I didn't know what else to do, what course to take, but I realized that I didn't actually want to become a doctor. <laughs> so it took a couple of years before I really had the guts to step out. I'm Shira Luna and I'm a photographer. I took up human biology at the age of 13, so I guess during that time I was still trying to make my parents proud and really go on the path of becoming a doctor. I think what gave me the courage to pursue something else was knowing that I had a lot of other skills and that I was very dedicated and hardworking and that even if I didn't know where I was going I knew I would be able to stand up on two feet and really learn as much as I could. What I love about photography could probably fill a whole book. <laughs> There's the aspect that it's magical, it's a form of storytelling, it's also a form of communication. When I was starting in photography, a lot of my shoots were really trying to learn from other images. It was a lot of research. I, I really enjoy shooting people, but I think I'm better at creating things more than actually just capturing them. I like imagining stories and really setting up the scene and trying to create something out of that. I'm quite flexible when it comes to my photography. I enjoy photography that's very clean and minimalist, but when it comes to my own work, I think I love textures. Um, I love seeing things from like an observer's point of view. So a lot of the times it's very nostalgic. And even if the scene you're looking at is quite sad, I think it still makes you smile and imagine or try to remember something that happened in your life that was similar. Yeah, I just like playing with imagination like that personal aspect. I think as a photographer, you're very used to just hiding behind the camera and just snapping away. But I think when you're really working, you have to learn how to deal with clients and you have to learn how to deal with art directors and the brief and the mood boards and how to take everyone's ideas and put it into an image. I think that's a very challenging part. A few tips for aspiring photographers would be not to feel too pressured with what they see because everyone's on Instagram and everyone has Tumblr and Pinterest so I think it would be nice to turn off once in a while and look elsewhere for inspiration and just walk around the street and watch people and observe and really to be patient. I think finding your style will come a little later on in your career but I think what's important is to build your skill set and to really get that grit <laughs> because it's not easy and it's not quick and it's not short term and I think if you want to be in it for the long run you really just have to stand on your two feet and keep your chin up.